Okay, so we've spent some time taking a major inventory of all the things in our lives, figuring out how to love God with everything we've got. So digging down deep and starting with the heart, we've been able to take a close look at our motivations, answering questions like why you do what you do and why you don't do what you don't do. From there, we've taken a look at our minds. Our minds hold our imagination, our dreams, and our knowledge. So it's pretty crucial to know what makes up our thoughts. And honestly, all the things that we let take over our thoughts, from worries and fears to music and media, even to our latest obsession. Next, we move to our strength. Not strength like the things we're good at, but strength like our efforts and our energy. We all have the same number of minutes in a day, and how we spend those minutes tells us a lot about how we spend our strength. Not to mention our goals for our future, they tell us a lot about how we plan to spend our strength. And lastly, we come to loving God with all our soul, the complete package, loving Him in a way that's all in, not all but fill in the blank, or all but these one or two things I want to keep for myself, and definitely not all as long as it's not too uncomfortable. You see, loving God with everything you've got renews your entire life with a focus that just cuts through the mess. It's like turning on the lights in a dark room or wiping the smudges from your sunglasses. Jesus wants to renew your life and help you turn your focus back onto Him. Don't get me wrong, it's hard. He never said it would be easy, just that it would be worth it.